Oh, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth, Central Valley, California. Just spent the last week working up at my bro's farm up in the Sierra Nevada foothills. As you can see, there's an empty pool behind me. It's midday. I didn't get here early enough. It's hot, but you know, we're going to go uh, grab a couple runs because an empty pool must be skated. That's the rule. White pools in the summertime in the middle of the day are brutal. I've done like five runs, I'm already just feeling like totally zapped by the heat. But you know, death or glory, right? I'm gonna keep skating for a little while longer. Too bad there's a little bit of muck in the bottom. I don't have anything to clean it out with. Whatever, dude, just ride around it, right? I've officially detoured, taken the long way home. I'm gonna take you guys to one of my most favorite spots in all of California. Anything good in nature usually involves lots of twisty, turny roads. That's one of the great things about the Western landscape of America is the beautiful drive to get to the beautiful place. I really dig the back roads of California. They're rad. All right, I'm here. It's one of my favorite places in California. Most people never get here, have no idea it's here. It's about an hour and a half from Los Angeles. I'm at the uh, north end of the Carrizo Plain. It goes for another 37 miles that way. That's how vast this area is. And on the other side, of the Carrizo Plain is a whole wilderness complex of mountains and all sorts of good stuff. So uh, we're gonna go cruise around out here, go check it out. We're gonna get to some vantage points. We're gonna check out the Soda Lake and we're just gonna weave around, check it all out. Pretty fired up. I had no idea I was gonna come and do this when I woke up this morning. Love just being in the now. It's probably hard to see, but right there, that little clump of rocks, we're going over there. It's an ancient archaeological site from our original brothers and sisters who used to live on this landscape. Let's go check it out. Well, I'm here at the uh, Painted Rock Locked Gate. Apparently, you need a permit to get through the, uh, the locks. Maybe the code 6969. Nope. Anyway shut down apparently you need a permit to go check out the uh the petroglyphs and the painted rock back there i've been there before a couple times it's beautiful there was never a locked gate so i guess uh people haven't been being good stewards of the land either that or it's a way to get 10 bucks not really sure but uh it's right out there denied access but we're in the now we just can move on because the carrizo plane's full of treasures but anyway, heads up on Painted Rock, you need a permit. This is some of the original equipment from back in the day they used to use to wheat farm this zone. Dry land farming. How crazy are these old contraptions? Look at this old tractor. This one's rad though, that's coming up. Look at that thing. 
They don't make them like that anymore, do they? Not at all. Wow. With the wood cab. Epic. We're going up up to there, Caliente Ridge. It's pretty rad up there. It gets a whole overview of the Carrizo Plain. Let's go check it out. Point, it's awfully windy up here. So that's the way to Santa Maria out that way. And this begins the Carrizo Plain. There's an, another higher plane up there. That's pretty neat. And you cruise around. There's Soda Lake right there. And then the overview we were at before was right about there. And the painted rocks are right down there that we can't get to because I don't have a permit and there's a lock gate. And then you cruise around and there's these rocks down here, which are which are pretty cool. We're gonna go play around down there. And there's the Shelby campground right there. This is the road we came up. And then we're gonna uh, cross the Carrizo Plain like right over here to the other side. And then we're gonna make our way down that way and then we're gonna get into some crazy stuff down there. But as you can see, it's just, there's no one here. It's beautiful. I'm pretty excited about this. Look at all of these ancient milling holes. The Native Americans who were living here fully used this landscape and were one with it. This is a very tough landscape and to be in harmony with it, you can't, you can't be mean to it. You have to let, look at that one. Wow, that's really cool. Proof people sustain themselves out here with nothing but themselves and the land and what the land provided. But we're on the complete other side of the, uh, the valley here. Over there, that's uh, where I was up on top, Caliente Ridge. Down below, that's where the rocks we were climbing around were. And then uh, there's Soda Lake up there, where we started our journey. And uh, yeah, I'm on the uh, east side of the uh, Carrizo Plain on Elkhorn Road. It's a rad road, just wide open, just cruising. I've been cruising around on these back roads, the Carrizo Plain, for about 10 years. And this one particular road, Elkhorn Road, I've never actually passed another car. I think that that's one of the things that fascinates me about this part of the country, is that I've only ever experienced it solo. I've never, ever bumped into a fellow traveler. Right, we're here in the Elkhorn Plain, which is uh, an offshoot of the Carrizo Plain. We're going to go up that road there, over to the other side, back to the Carrizo. And uh, the Carrizo Plain and the Salt Lake are up that way. This is an interesting spot for me here. This is where uh, Source Energy proved to me that everything I'm experiencing is just a manifestation of my, my imagination. And it happened, I wrote about a story about a bunch of crows in the novel I published, a bunch of crows all coming together from every direction and forming a, basically a giant funnel cloud of crows. I don't know anything about crows at the time. I was sitting here and Crows came from every direction on the compass and came to right here and formed into a giant funnel cloud. 
And it lasted for about a half an hour and then they all departed off into every direction on the compass. There must have been a thousand crows. I'm not exaggerating. I don't need to exaggerate in this lifetime. And so I, I was really like blown away by that experience. And then I, ha I came out here again because I come out here all the time. And then I came out here again to see if it would happen again. And I sat here and sure enough, it happened again. Crows from every direction of the compass came. They did a giant funneling action here for about 20 minutes, a half an hour, and split back to every direction in the compass. And it proved to me, not once, but twice, in case I was a doubter, that everything that I perceive is a creation of my imagination. I hope all of you get to experience something as paradigm shifting as that. That's Mount Pinus off in the distance. Mount Pinus. It's a really cool spot. I like to hang out up here, but that's for a different trip. There's all sorts of cool stuff to explore up there. You can get to the top of that mountain, which is beautiful. Back in there, some really cool stuff. There's Mount Caliente, Caliente Ridge. That's where I was hanging out from above. The rocks are down there. Soda Lake's off into there. And all right, final view of where we were. The Carrizo Plain was out over there. And then uh, this is the Cayuma Valley here. This is known as the Cayuma Badlands, which are super cool to go exploring around in. And then there is Mount Pinos and uh, the Mount Abel Recreation Area, as well as the Chumash Wilderness, which is this side of the mountain. And then if you go back that way, that's to Fraser Park. This is all just a super cool area to explore. Hope you enjoyed the journey with me. It was a rad and beautiful day. Look at that cloud. Like clouds. Clouds are rad.